What's up, Internet world, social media, YouTube? Thanks for tuning in. My name is Max, bringing you news updates on what's happening in the renewable energy world and green energy and future sustainability through my company, Push Charge LLC. Today, we're going to talk about a subject that it was actually an inspiration behind the company. When I was reading about it a few months ago, on California's water shortages, I was absolutely stunned to see the situation that was going on over there. Even right now, they're in recovery mode from that stage, but just to give you a sense of what was happening about a year ago in California, an article by the Huffington Post updated on their website, link to this article will of course be provided in the description. The article was posted on February 3rd of this year, 2015. And the governor of California, Jerry Brown, imposed several regulations and restrictions due to their water shortages to combat this problem that they were facing. And part of the restrictions was, of course, due to a uh, this this massive shortage of water. And just to give you a picture of how severe it was, in if you were living in San Francisco or Sierra Nevada or pretty much any metropolitan area of California, you were fined $500 a day if you violated restrictions on lawn watering and washing cars. I remember in high school and middle school doing car washes to fundraise for a particular campaign or a particular club that I was involved in. If you were in a church or some kind of organization, you probably engage in these kinds of activities and to think that they didn't even have the basic resource to do to do something like this is astounding. Now, of course, they all, Jerry Brown also called for a 20% reduction in monthly water consumption. 20% reduction in monthly water consumption and more restrictions came uh, from the drought. Link to that article will of course be in the description below. Today, what we're going to talk about as to what you can do to help reduce the amount of water that you're using is water faucet aerators that are located in any of your restrooms or um, if you have a, a larger facility you might have them uh, you know in a in a designated area you know like in a warehouse if you wash your hands in a in a sink you probably have one of these and they look like this now mine's a little dirty I apologize for that you simply go to the if you're watching this right now pause the video go to your restroom and look at the aerator which is just a little tube thing where the water goes through and uh, you wash your hands with that's the aerator you can easily screw this off in most uh, most of your standard sinks a lot of them a lot of them are going to be um, easily removable and if you can't take them you know just get a, a wrench or something like that uh, but some of them of course are non-removable like some of the aerator uh, the aerator that I have in my sink in my kitchen is not it can't be removed it's actually installed in the in the design of the sink itself but most of the time it's not going to be hard to remove so what's it look for with faucet aerators now on the side of the aerator now mine mine's kind of on the edge here it's going to read what's called your gpm which stands for gallons per minute now my faucet aerator uses 2.0 gallons per minute now according on epa environmental uh, protection agency standards that is kind of good it's about a b rating current epa standards are now pushing for 1.5 gpm 1.5 gallons per minute so whenever you're washing your hands whenever you're brushing your teeth you are using a certain amount of gallons per minute now if um you want to get a picture as to how much of an impact this is going to make a study was done in the East Bay Municipal District in California, due to their severe lack of water resources, they conducted this study, and what they found was pretty remarkable. What they found was that when replacing all these faucet aerators in households in that municipal district, a household saved about 570 gallons of water per year, per year. A retrofit study is very simply means that they didn't do any invasive or reconstructive work in the existing uh, plumbing system. All they did was took these things out and installed the more water efficient ones. Now, 
I wanted to see how that applied to me. So I live in a neighborhood of North Houston, Texas named Enchanted Oaks. Uh, you can go to the website enchantedoaks.net to get the information that I'm about to tell you. There are about 782 custom homes in Enchanted Oaks neighborhood alone. Now, if every single home in Enchanted Oaks replaced their faucet aerator with a 1.5 GPM water conserving aerator, they would save a total of 399,000 gallons of water per year. One neighborhood in one city in one state. Now, think about that. Think about the change that you can do to help our neighbors. It's crazy to think about that just a plane right away, people are lacking in necessary resources to live. Water is a basic resource to live, and they don't have that as easily available as we do. Now, Texas, of course, has a history of, of water problems and combating water rights, but even then, you can do something especially if you're a homeowner that's going to plan on living in their home for the next few years, you know, you have kids and you want to, you know, you want to stabilize that family. Look into renovating and improving your water system now. In the coming week, I'll of course be talking with manufacturers and distributors to get the products that I'm about to mention on my website, but I of course have no problem with directing you to where you can buy this stuff. The first Manufacturer that I found that provides this product is Neo Pearl. Neo Pearl. I apologize if I butchered that pronunciation. It's N E O P E R L. Link, of course, would be provided in the description. And when you buy a typical female 55, uh, 55, 64 inch faucet aerator, it's going to cost you about five to ten dollars. Five to ten dollars. Now, let, let's think about that just for one second. You say 570 gallons per year and you install an aerator that's going to cost you five to ten dollars to an end. The installation is going, to, is going to be nothing. You know, you literally just have to screw it out and screw it in yourself. The investment makes sense. And especially if you're a person that's looking to stay in a home for longer than a year, I would, I would trust that you would make the decision to make that change yourself. The second manufacturer is Moen, M-E-O-E-N, and they, of course, also provide water-conserving faucet aerators. And link, of course, will be provided in the, in the description below. So on the next episode, we're going to talk about shower heads and what kinds of shower heads to look for when looking to reduce the amount of water that you use in the second most common water expending activity in a home taking a shower you should take a shower every day so of course the next episode we're going to talk about uh, what kinds of products to look for uh, what what kind of things have customers complained about and water conserving shower heads and how you can pick the right one for your home be green